I pretty much have a few lifestyle things in here and some makeup and some skincare. So I'm going to go ahead and get this party started. The first thing that I want to talk about is this Future Skin Foundation by Shanta Kai. And it comes in a package like this. I have it on now and I really like it. I like to use it on days where I'm going out. Um, and what I find is, is that it's not a lot of transfer on the mask. It's very nice and it's not going to leave you cakey looking and it really doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It's really light. The shade that I have it in is banana. So personally, I feel as though if you're looking for a foundation that's not going to be really heavy, that's going to be good for your skin, that, um, it has decent coverage. Um, I would say that it's almost to a medium um, <laughs> coverage. But either way, this is a really nice foundation and I like it. And I think it's really, it's really pretty on. All right. So next I have some eyelashes. And for those of you all who have been watching me for a long time, you all know that I don't like to pay a lot of money for lashes. And up until recently, when higher-end brands that sell eyelashes, when they put their eyelashes on sale, I have been diving in and trying them out, like Lily Lashes and then Velour Lashes had a sale. So I bought quite a few. I have on some lashes right now, but these, hmm, here are the other two pair that I have. Let me take them out. right here. And so these are regular $30 and I got them half off. A lot of times those companies will run sales and I would recommend if you want to try them out to try it then. Plus if they're having a sale and let's say you sign up for their email, you can get it even cheaper. Um, here's another pair right here. So yeah, I have really been enjoying these and I like to put on these lashes prep my first pick is the Velour Lashes. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't even think I said the name. These are Velour Lashes. And my first pick would be the Velour Lashes, hands down. Then I like the Lily Lashes. And these are mink lashes, and they're really pretty. Um, I don't know if I would spend... $30 on them only because I guess I'm a little cheap in that regard but I have been enjoying these and I like wearing those lashes when I'm out because what I find is in person they look more natural than some of my lashes that I get from Amazon. Now, I'm not trying to knock those, but I just kind of feel like those look a little bit more natural. Okay, next I have a pair of kicks. And when I show you all these, I know you all are going to be like, girl, those are so ugly. <laughs> but I think they're cute. These are just some Reeboks. I think these are the Prince's Reeboks. I think that's the, uh, the name. But if I'm wrong, I'll put it I'll put it up on the screen, but these are so comfortable and they came with a red and black string. I think it's cute and I just kind of doubled it up, but these are so comfortable. Whenever I go to the mall and I know I have to walk, I wear these and some of these flat tennis shoes out here in these streets will really trick you. You'll think that they're comfortable <laughs> and they're appropriate for walking and all this other stuff and you get out there and your, your dogs are barking, like barking loud. But these are super comfortable. Um, I saw the red ones. I got these from Macy's last year. Um, I saw they have white at Macy's or they have, you can get the red ones on, I think, Amazon. I don't remember the places. Whatever, wherever you can get the red ones, I'll, I'll try to put it down below so you can... Uh, get them if you like the red but you know pink and black is my favorite color but I love red plus I like carrying red purses so I'll I'll match my purse with my shoes and I know you're like girl no no man we're, we're not doing that but yeah I, I want to do that so anyway these have been my favorites and I think they're so cute next I have a hair care uh, product and this is by Briogeo and this is their avocado kiwi mega moisturizer superfood and this first of all it smells delicious okay it actually it smells like a smoothie it smells like something you would just literally 
<laughs> put it in your glass and just suck it up. But it does an excellent job of tr providing hydration. Um, me and my son use it. My son has hair exactly, exactly like mine. And, you know, it's hard to find products that are going to, you know, leave your hair hydrated, moisturized, and not just kind of totally be dried out when you rinse it out. So have definitely been loving this and it's about halfway gone and I just need to go ahead and buy a backup and buy a backup to the backup. <laughs> All right. So I received two products by Clarence. Complimentary for review. And it's the first one is the double serum hydric liptic system. This is it right here. And the other one is the Clarence Cream Rose Lemire. This is the multi intensive. This is the Rose Radiance Cream. And this is what it looks like. Now this one is pink. It's like a yeah, a pink color on the inside. The sun is shining so bright. I don't know if y'all can see that, but now I've only had these two products for a couple of weeks. I just wanted to show you all what I'm currently using. And I do plan on talking about these more to just to kind of let you know what I think about it. And if I think that they are worth the, uh, the heavy price tag, when you apply it, it feels like you're at the spa and you're about to have a facial done. And oh my goodness. It, it's lovely and the way that it makes my skin feel. And I know you're like, oh goodness, that's so cliche-ish and all that, but it's true. This one is good. This serum is very, um, how do I put it? Well, first of all, the serum has two different dispersed um uh, disbursements? Am I saying that correctly? On the pump, you can either have it to where it pumps a lot or you can have it to where it pumps a little bit. So I think that that's important. And I think that you only need a little bit um, because a little bit goes a long way. It does. Um, I like to use these two products at night because while they're not heavy, there is a lot of slip to them. Um, how do I explain it? Um, they're not heavy. They're very, 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 very hydrating. Very. And I don't, I don't think these two would um, really do well under my makeup. So if you were to get these, this is what I'm thinking now so far with the amount of time I've been using them. Um, use them at night. You'll just be able to get better results with them, I think, because in the daytime, you know, you pay, you do all of your skincare products. And after that, then you put on uh, your sunscreen. Then after that, you put on your makeup. And then after that, you, you know what I'm saying? So with all that being said, I just like to use these at night so they can really work uh, synergistically, harmoniously. Am I making up words? I don't think so. <laughs> if I am, y'all will tell me. <laughs> can work together. But so far, I'm loving these. All right. So I have more skincare. And these were sent to me complimentary for a review by Dr. Babor. And I have the Clean Formance Phyto CBD Serum. Okay. And I also have the Clean Formance Phyto CBD cream. Here's the cream. And then the last thing is a awakening eye cream. And the cream comes in a little container like this. Now, this is another product that I've been using. What I can tell you about these products is that if you have an issue with redness or you have an issue with um, irritation or ac um, redness, irritation or acne, these two would be really good because it has CBD in it. And I'm sure all of you all know that CBD is a powerful antioxidant out there. And, you know, with skincare, that, that, that's what we want. We want as much um, antioxidants as possible in our product. This one, I would say would be good for so far from what I'm being able to pick up on is someone with very oily skin because this one, once you apply it, this serum has a very milky type of texture and this cream, um, uh, it, it absorbs very quickly into your skin and it's not going to leave any type of, um, 
I don't want to say greasy feeling. It's not going to feel heavy. So yeah, I think that these will go well with someone with oily skin, although it's recommended for all skin types. And as far as the eye awakening cream, I've used this a couple of times and I've applied it under my eye before I wear makeup. I haven't had any problems with it so far, but I will keep you all posted. I'll let you all know more of what I've seen. But so far, I really do like these. And then the last one I want to talk about, I received this one by Paya. Complimentary for review. And this is a body scrub. So this one is, what I can tell you about this one uh, so far, is that the the sugar particles the gold sugar particles that are in it are serious okay so what i am uh what i have elected to do is just to use this on my elbows or my feet the soles of my feet uh, because they are very coarse now if you like scrubs that are on the coarse side i would definitely say the, uh, to check this out. Um, the other thing about it is it's very thick, okay? And it it does apply gold <laughs> on your skin. So this one, this was an interesting one to use. But after I use it, you know, you, your skin can't help but to feel soft and smooth because, you know, the granules are so coarse. So anyway, yeah, this, this is a cool product. Plus, I think they offer a discount code and they don't give me any kickbacks. I don't get any money. I don't, I don't, I don't get any of that, but um, there'll be a discount code from them that you can use. All right. So the next one is a lens. This is a Canon lens. I'll just take it off. Okay. And this is a 24 millimeter EFS. It has an F stop of 2.8. And what I like about this one is when I get ready to take pictures, it gives me more of a wider range. And it's really convenient when you're taking pictures because you can just get, of course, more space without having to maneuver a lot. So this is um, a really good lens to have. I would definitely check it out. Um, if you if you are one who just kind of, I don't want to say likes to collect lenses, but you know, different lenses serve different, you know, do different things. Like I have the Nifty 50, I have um, a Sigma, um, a Sigma with the f-stop of 1.4. I've got this one and a 35 mm, and then I have one that's zoom, zoom. How far does it zoom? I'll leave it all down in the comments, the ones that, all the ones that I have, but you know, different lenses, of course, do different things. So it just kind of depends on, you know, what you're doing. Also what you're filming, you know, when, as far as this lens is concerned, let's say if I use it in my bedroom, <clears throat> this lens is going to cover the entire bedroom from wall to wall. For the most part of it, whereas the one that you normal that you all normally see me on in my bedroom is um, is the 35 mm. The ones where you see me if I'm putting on my makeup, that's my Sigma. It's got an f stop of 1.4, and it's got it'll give you me the blurry background, or like when I'm in my bathroom and the background is blurry. So it just kind of depends on you know your needs, wh what you're going to use it for. But either way. That's uh, the lens that I've been using a lot and have really been enjoying. All right, so that's it. That is my favorites video. Also, let me know what some of your favorites are or have you tried any of my favorites? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.